Do I start? Okay. All right. So right now we we do the training for the spinner bowl. All right. And uh, and the first thing when you come here, you need to check your sample size and uh, and choose the right uh, chart for yourself for the sample. Such as uh, if you use a small square sample, such as this one. The, the sample size is around two centimeter by two centimeter. So you need what you need is a truth. Uh, oh, wait, wait a second. You need to choose this chart for yourself because uh, you need to cover the stage at here. Use your sample. All right, just like this one. And if you choose the smaller stage, this one, probably it also works, but uh, but the the chance when the, the, the chance of the, the samples uh, fly away during the high speed spin will also increase. So I suggest you use the when you use a two centimeter sample and use this chart. And if you if you have a smaller sample such as this one, you can't cover the whole because you can't cover the whole stage. You need to choose the smaller one. Alright. And if you have a whole vapor this is a four inch. You need to choose the four inch chart for yourself. Uh, the rules is uh, you have to use your wafer cover the whole stage, and uh, and the stage also can't be can't be very small, right? Use the four inch for this. <laughs> use the whole inch, four inch for this chart, and uh, this is three inch wafer. Three inch wafer for this chart, right? Or for this one. And this chart is for the two inch wafer. All right. And uh, this is the first thing you need to choose the right chart for the wafer or for the sample. And the second one, you need to double check the the back side of the holes. You have to make sure there is a black O ring in there. And this O ring is for used for the vacuum. So if you see it's a, it's this, the O-ring is missing, or you can use the, another one, replace that, and put it, put it in there. So right now, a lot of the O-ring is, is, is in there. All right. Okay. So this is the second step. And the, and the third one, you need to place the chalk into the spinner uh, holder. So you can find it here. There is a flat, but this is not very sharp. And oh, this is much better. You can see there is a flat and here. So you you have okay. You have to make this flat to the to to this flat to match each other. The flat at here and the also flat at here. All right. You have to make that match each other. After you place that and the press to make sure it's contact very good. All right, so this is the third one. And uh, you also need, uh, after that, you also need to use the, <coughs> place your sample onto the stage and to cover the whole stage. Use your, your, um, your, your, use your sample. And then make a here uh, a, a practice or make a here a uh, try to vacuum. So when you press the vacuum, the, sam the vacuum will be on and the sample will be held by the state, all right? And uh, you also need to monitor here. This is a, a meter for the vacuum. When I press the va vacuum, you can see the, the monitor go to the, the pressure go to the 20 to 25 ki uh, kilo, I think it's kilo pound. So that is the value, I mean, it's good. If the value is too low, so that means there is a there is a vacuum leaking. So you need to recheck the chuck and or your sample. All right. After that, you can press the again vacuum off. So you can see the the needle go goes back. All right. So next step is uh, we need to choose the right recipe for yourself. All right. So this is a, a a standard recipe for the for the spinner. All right, oh, this is much better. All right, 
it's your standard recipe. And uh, actually, um, the recipe can separate into two, two steps. The first step is a low speed, and the second step is a high speed. So the, so the vertical is the spin rate, and the horizontally is the time, how long you need to spin. And in the step one, you can see there are two sections. One section one is ramp up from zero to 1,000. So the ramp up, uh, the, the ramp up number one is uh, I, I set to, I, we can set it to 250 RPM per second. So what you need to in the in the controller, I mean in the spinner controller, you, you can set the value. Use this one, and uh, for the for for the first spin. Uh, holding, you can set the holding time or period. It's a 10 second. After that, we can go to the second step. And uh, at the, in this step, in the first step, the, the section two. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In the section two of the first step, you can set uh, the how long you want to holding and and what the spin rate at, uh, for the first step. And uh, so that is uh, all of the parameters for the first step. The first one is the ramp up. And second one is the holding or the period, and the third one is the spin rate. Uh, same as uh, the second step. So after that, you need to set the how much the ramp up for the second one. You have to remember the start point or star or the start rate is 1,000 at here, right? 1,000 at here. So what you need to set is from 1,000 to 5 to 5,000. What the, what you want to speed up or acceleration? Such as I want to say uh, 1,000 RPM per second, and this is uh, as same as the first one. How long you need to hold for 5,000, and you also need to tell the controller how uh, what the what the, the spin rate for this step. All right. Okay, you can go here. <coughs> and uh, so this is uh, uh, this is operation sh uh, sheet you can you can follow. There are uh, in the controller we have uh, uh, eight recipe. For the standard, all right. So you cannot change the, the recipe from zero to number to number seven. But previously, I I, I talked with you. It's a it's a recipe number three. So this is you no. Know, is this is used for for most of the photo races, such as the AZ photo races or S uh, thirteen uh, thirteen or eight, thirteen eighteen, um, right? And uh, you also you you can check some of recipes such as the number zero. And number four to number seven, we only have a one, only have one, one step. And for some of recipe from one to three, we have two step. It's up to you. I mean, you can choose the, uh, whatever you want. And uh, if you, if if none of that is match your re request, so you can choose the uh, number eight or number nine. Not show here, because because it's uh, arbitrary arbitrary uh, recipe or uh, any or for any users. You can you can use as many as. Uh, Nine step, so the first step, the third, second one, and you can add three and four and five, whatever, and go up to nine, step nine. You can set nine, even nine step, and you also can set the 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 the, the, the spin rate and also the the, the accel accelerate and also um, for how long you want to hold and I mean the uh, period. So, all right. So right now we go to the. So right now we go to the uh, the the spinner controller. All right. So when you come here, you can if you want to choose uh, uh, a a recipe. I mean the, a standard recipe. What you need is uh, press press step and the zero. So right now you jump to the the high level of the of the operation process. And uh, what you, if you want to choose a recipe. Number three, you press you press recipe and uh, selective three. So you can see here is the number three recipe you show here, and uh, it's ready to start. So currently you you uh, you can actually right now you can drop your your photo resist on the sample and then press press uh, green button at here. Okay, I will show you. What
So remember, remember uh, your drop need to cover the whole sample surface. So this is this is not a photo resist. And this is an, an, another adhesion layer, but it's uh, it's higher. I just want to make an uh, example. And after you cover the use the pipette to cover the whole sample, use the drop the droplet, and you need to press the green button. So you can see the it spin, right? So jump to here. So right now you are in the first step. Okay, you can see the total is nine steps. Right, right now you can jump to the second one. So you can see the spin rate go up. And here is uh, how many, how many, how many uh, time, how many seconds you left for this step, uh, for this step. This is the sample, it's super hard stuff. This is the adhesion layer is uh, expired, so a lot of dust down there. Uh, I will try another sample, don't worry about it. Okay, go, come, please come back. And uh, this round I will make another sample. I will place another sample on there. It's a new sample on there. And uh, in this round, I will show you how to edit your own recipe, all right? So such as uh, uh, we have a, uh, <coughs> Such as we have a um, two two step, okay. Such as we have a two step, but we, I want to switch the I want to change the total uh, spin rate. I mean the, uh, the first spin rate to the two thousand and the second second one to six thousand. And I want to keep the ramp as around is the first one is one hundred and the second one is uh, or two hundred so two hundred RPM. All right, and we need uh, actually we need. Uh, First one, we need to jump out. So end of recipe, actually. Step zero, all right? And right now, you if, because you, it's not a standard recipe, you need to choose the recipe eight or nine, all right? right such as we want to nine, recipe nine, okay? Right now, we already jumped to the recipe nine. And we need to set the rest, uh, parameters step by step. So the first step, we press step. And the number nine, and the number one. So you can see here. Step one. So total is ni total is nine step. So what we need to set the first one is the speed. Right. We need to set the speed for the first one is the two thousand. All right. Right here is the two thousand. After that, you need to press enter. Yeah. So you already set the two two thousand. And you want to hold the, the 2000 for such as uh, 15 seconds, all right? And you need to press step terminate. 15 second and uh, enter. And you also need to set the ramp up, the first ramp up, ramp up number one. And what you need is uh, here, press step, uh, press this one, because uh, it share the same button speed and the ramp up. So you have to make sure here it shows speed, and you need, if you want to ramp up, you need to press again to ramp up. So, uh, so what we want is uh, 200, right? Or 50, or, all right, all right, 200. All right, so we finished the first step. So sec se second one, we needed to jump to the um, step two. So we press step and number two, right? It show here, number two. And uh, we will we will repeat the repeat the repeat the procedure. And the first one we need a speed. All right, we need to set to six thousand. Enter. And the second one, uh, how long you want to hold the six thousand? Such as uh, mm, fifty. And also the last one is the ramp up. Right now it's speed and I press again ramp up. So I want to try um, 500, such as. 
all right? And uh, because this is a this is a, a arbitrary or uh, for any user, so probably you need to try to you need to double check the step three or step four or step six is almost zero. I mean the the, the spin rate almost is all of that is zero or vacant. So you need to you need to check the step three. So you can see here the time the step for step three is zero. So that means uh, so no one set the value at here. And then you, if you want, you can check the number, the step four. You also show here zero, and five. I'm sorry, number five, and step five zero, step six zero, seven zero, eight zero, nine zero. All right. So we already set all of the parameters here. And what you need is that before you press the green button, you need to jump off the end of, I mean, you need end of the recipe uh, uh, added. So step zero. So right now you, it's ready to, to spin. Uh, this round, I want to use some color resistance on there. Make sure you, you squeeze out all of the air and then drop the cover, your, your drop is need to cover the whole surface. All right, and you can, then you can press the green button. So it's a start to rise up. So you can check here, this is in the first step right now, and uh, it's a still rise up, the rate, from zero to 2000, I, I remember. Right, and the time still 15 seconds. So right now we already go to the 2000, and time to go is re reduced. Right, this is, we are still in the first step. After there, here go to zero, we will jump to the, to the second step. Right, so right now we go to the second step, and uh, it runs up gradually, as we set the, the ramp up the value. So it's go up to 6000, and then you can see the time ellipse is it's, it's reduced from 50 seconds to almost to zero. And uh, later I will make a, a, a cover on, on there because uh, some users report here uh, is a lot of dust from the feeding to the, to the bench. So later I will add another lead at here, but we still the lead is still in the machine shop. We are waiting for that. <laughs> All right. So when there, when, when that is a spin, um, so keep away from there because uh, it's very sharp. The sample, you know, cut your fingers. So keep out there. All right. Wait a second. We need to stop. All right, pick it up. So you can see the surface. It's very smooth. The edge part is uh, it because it's a it's a corner, so it's edge part is not a uniform. So your pattern you have to be in the future. If, if when you when you do the exposure, all of your pattern should be in the center, not at the edge. All right. And right now you need to use the hot blade at here and use the this is a timer, a timer to use that, to, 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 to watch the to hook up for the hot uh, blade. I want to stand one minute. Okay. And uh, you need to... You need to throw away the pipe pipe into the aromatic weight. That's the first step. And uh, if you think the the foil is uh, dirty, you need a reef, you need to change the foil. Yeah. Right. Press this button. The foil, dirty foil is also beautiful.
almost uh, from the place on the pulling plate. Alright, wait a minute. So here is the how to change the foil for the beginner bow. After the, the foil fit well, and you can make a here a hole for the spinner killer, and then use the use this uh, this one to fix that here a little bit a few turns, right? Okay, that's all for the spinner.